Hello my friends, Richmond Din here, author, speaker, entrepreneur, property investor and success and wealth coach. But what people really know me for is how I went from being in over $200,000 worth of debt, facing real bankruptcy and turning my situation around to being worth over a million dollars in under four years. Now today I'm going to share with you why the rich get richer and why the poor stay poor and I'm going to explain it to you using the success cycle. Now all the results you have in your life right now, whether it be in your health, your relationships, your finances, everything that you have in your life right now is a direct correlation of you taking action to get that result. Now I love the law of attraction, however the law of attraction alone does not work if you do not take action to get the result that you're after. Now all your actions are preceded by you having to make a decision to take action. Now there's two types of decisions that you'll ever have to make. Number one, whether or not you're gonna take action or not. And the second decision you make is if you do take action, what action are you gonna take? Are you gonna eat the burger or eat the salad? Are you gonna exercise or not exercise? Are you gonna buy that property? And if so, which one, how much, what suburb, all those sort of things. Now, all your decisions are impacted and driven and influenced by your emotions or your emotional state. Now, some of you might be thinking, hang on a sec, I do not make decisions based on emotions. I'm a logical person, I make it based on logic, and I get that. However, even if you're basing it on logic, you're basing it on an emotion or a feeling of certainty or confidence or faith that the decision you're making is the right decision. So it's still based on an emotion or feeling of certainty. Now, all your emotions, everything that you feel, is dictated and determined by your beliefs. I'll give an example. Let's just say you wanted to get into the property market and you have this belief or dialogue in your head or your narrative or your stories and you say to yourself, you know what, I can do this. I can find a way. It will work out. I am good enough. I am smart enough. I am resourceful enough. Whatever that story is, that positive story, Guess what happens? It leads to you generating an emotion called confidence, faith, trust, certainty, passion, excitement, motivation, and that allows you to make a positive decision to take positive action to buy the right property to get that result and you start making money from that property, next minute you know it reinforces your belief and you say to yourself, see, I told you it was good, I told you I was okay, I told you I could do it. And you generate more confidence, more certainty, more faith, more courage, more motivation, more excitement. It leads you to make more decisions to take more action to buy more property. You make more money and that's why the rich get richer. Now, if you have the opposing thoughts or beliefs or stories in your mind that says, you know what, I can't do this. I can't find a way. I'm not good enough. I'm not smart enough. I'm not like them. It won't work for me. Guess what happens? You generate an emotion called stress, overwhelm, doubt, fear, tension, nervousness, whatever you want to call it, that allows you to make poor decisions or a decision to make no action or take poor actions to get poor results and then it further enhances your beliefs and you say, see, I told you it wouldn't work. See, I told you I wasn't good enough. And now the story generates more emotions of stress, doubt, overwhelm, lack of confidence. You make poorer decisions, you take poor action or no action, you get poor results and the cycle continues. That's why the poor stay poor. Now, watch this. Your current financial situation, how much money you have in your bank account, how much income you earn, your current net worth is all directly correlated to your beliefs around money. It all starts with your beliefs. Think and Grow Rich is the highest selling wealth creation book of all time. Over 100 million copies sold. Think and Grow Rich is the highest selling wealth creation book of all time because your current financial situation all starts with your way of thinking and your beliefs around this thing called money. Now when I got that, when it really clicked inside of me, that's how I managed to turn my financial situation around. That's how I managed to build a multi six-figure profitable 
coaching business in under 12 months. And that's how I managed to help my clients achieve anywhere between a 30 to 200% increase in their income in under 12 months. Now, in a couple of days time, I'll be running my millionaire success seminar where I'll be going through this very principle on how you can change your way of thinking and change your beliefs and change your relationship to this thing called money so you impact and improve your financial situation for good. That's the whole game. If you want to know more, please hit the link above. Details are there. Make sure you register ASAP and do it right now because there are limited seats and tickets will sell out. So if you're serious about making more money and taking your life to that next level, then I would love you to join me for a powerful and impactful evening where you're going to change your financial situation for good. So make sure you hit the link right now, register ASAP, and I look forward to seeing you in person and meeting you there.